Hey everybody, next up in the devlog series for .60 build of Daisy's development, we're going to be looking at a comparative performance analysis between our legacy RV DirectX 9 rendering and the upcoming Infusion DirectX 11 rendering. You'll see some small changes in how the menus are organized as well as performance from the last videos we've done on .60. It's important to understand that this is but the first public iteration of Infusion Engine's DirectX 11 rendering. We hope to continue to push performance and graphical fidelity as we continue to iterate on it throughout Daisy's development. Since the last devlog video on Point .60, both the environment and programming teams have been working hard on finding areas to optimize performance both within and outside of cities. The environment team has been able to use some outstanding tools put together by the Bratislava team to analyze areas within Chernaris that fall below the 30 FPS acceptable line. For example, areas highlighted in red on this map of Chernaris fall below 30 FPS as of the build at the beginning of this week. In this first example, we have a high traffic coastal area, in this case, Electro on the same server and the same time, compared in both DirectX 9 and DirectX 11. The DirectX 9 is running the same settings as the DirectX 11 client, although the DirectX 9 is running in full screen mode, where the DirectX 11 is running in windowed borderless mode. As you can see on DirectX 9 in Electro, the frame rate can fall as low as 15 and seems to hold an average somewhere around 20 to 22 frames with a peak of near 33. On the current build in DirectX 11, we see an average floating closer to 40 FPS with a low in scraping around 30 and a high somewhere around 65. In tandem with the environment team's work on optimizing cities throughout Chernaris, the art team has been working to finish all occluders on relevant structures, and the engine team has been working towards optimizing shadow performance on machines. Here you see a diagnostic view that the quality assurance team would see when checking for proper occluder support within a city.
Next up, we have a notoriously bad area for a lot of Daisy survivors. Zelenogorsk is arguably one of the more beautiful towns within Chinaris, and also one of the nastiest for performance. Even though this is the first iteration of Infusion's DirectX 11 rendering technology, performance in Zelenogorsk is distinctly better within DirectX 11. Don't mind the infected, they're just a little hungry. The team still has a small list of issues we have to resolve before we can move 0.60 to experimental, but as you can see, we're all feeling pretty confident in this first iteration of DirectX 11 Infusion Rendering Tech. 